Isn't it amazing that one candidate can't even survive an assassination attempt <laughs> and there'd be no praise God he didn't die? <laughs> Please help me understand how the believer didn't just fall on their knees and thank God that we didn't witness a murder right on our TV screens. If you please help me understand, I don't care how you feel about that individual. There's something greater than all of that, okay? And if we're looking at the morality of any human being, we already don't understand the power that we have in that name. Amen. Beloveds, as, as, as we close out, there's so many verses that talk about that name and, and the incredible things that have happened and been done by that name. But let us make a covenant agreement one with another that, first of all, we pray that each and every one of us truly believe. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly believe. <clears throat> like, like no false doctrine could ever pull us away from the one who gave us life. And then once we do that, let's encourage each other to go out into the highways and byways and walk under the authority of that name and see the atmosphere everywhere you go change. And I'm going to say this last thing, and I don't want y'all to think that I'm being arrogant here. But I know that when I'm called to go places, I know that there is going to be an atmospheric shift. It's not out of vanity. It is because Everything inside of me comes to the surface when God is calling me into service for him. 